Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Marie Latino for HipNewJersey.com and joining me here today is such a great friend of Hip New Jersey, Nubia Duvall Wilson. She is an author and entrepreneur. How are you doing, Nubia? I'm well. Thank you so much for having me, Lisa. Well, thank you. I want to learn all about your book. Thank you. I love supporting fellow authors, so <laughs> this is really fun. Um, so tell us all about uh, your book. Yeah, sure. So the book's called um, The Survivor's Club and it was inspired by a dream. A oh. uh, really interesting story. I had just moved to New Jersey not that long ago. You know, I was around 2011, so it gets me a little bit long ago. But anyway, in my mind, it seemed very, really close. 2011. <laughs> I can't believe it's like almost 10 years I, ago. I, I know, right? That was yesterday. Um, so we had just moved in and I didn't have kids yet, so I had a lot of free time and I had a dream. And in the dream, uh, there were these strangers in a room, stuck in a room and they didn't know why. And they each were being removed from this room to take over the life of a boy. And so I woke up and I was like, that's really cool. That could be a cool story. Yeah. So I wrote it down and almost in like one sitting, I wrote this short story and I kind of put it away, which is what I normally do when I write things. I don't do anything with it. And uh, a few years later, I picked it back up. It was 2016 and I started to remember some trauma, some trauma from my childhood. And uh, I just decided to go back and look at some of my old writings, some of my old journal entries, and all of a sudden I came across, at the time it was called Phobia. Mm -hmm. Phobia, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh, this is trying to tell me something, I had no idea. <laughs> so I said, you know, I'm gonna update this, expand it, and I published it in 2017, and it, it incorporates more of my dreams, the, the story is more expanded, so as you can see, it's thin. Yeah. <laughs> I purposely didn't make something that was too long because I know people, um, it, it, this caters to, you know, a 35 plus demographic mm -hmm. and a lot of times they're busy. Yeah. And um, and if their moms are really busy, so it's short, but it is meant to inspire people, um, especially survivors. I'm a survivor of child sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I want, I wanted to use this as a platform and, and for future content that I want to create to, to give, to give survivors a uh, a sense of hope and that they're not alone yeah. and to normalize the conversation you know your life's not over you know you want to live like a happy normal life and you can but you know of course there are going to be more challenges for for a survivor and so uh so when you read the book you know it's 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 not heavy it's kind of it's it's, it's a supernatural thriller mm -hmm. and um so it's kind of like a mystery that's so cool did you have some trepidation with coming out with your story and, and kind of being a face for survivorship mm -hmm. uh i did a little bit in the beginning which is why i waited you know in the beginning i was just like i just need to deal with my demons <laughs> yeah. figure this out i had just started my business and and i felt like everything was going so smoothly and i feel like that's what happens you think everything's perfect and then something comes up so so i waited a year and then i started working on it and and, and i put it out you know um, last year and and I, as I talk about it more, more people approach me and tell me, hey, I'm a survivor too. Mm -hmm. The statistics are really startling. It's one in 10. Um, by the time you're 18, one in 10 children will be abused. Mm -hmm. And it's even higher when you're a woman of color. If you're a black woman, it's one in six. So, um, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's just a way to, 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 to show that there are many of us out there and mm -hmm. we need community and we need to normalize the conversation and creating content that is approachable yeah. is a good way to do it. You know, um, I didn't want to make something dark. I wanted to make something that was interesting for all people to read. So on a lighter note, <laughs> did you notice newfound respect from your peers when you came out with your book? Yeah. Right? Isn't yeah. that funny how that happens? No, it's great, you know, <laughs> it really is. And people are like, oh my gosh, sometimes people forget that you are that you have these other passions. Yes. I mean, my, my full-time job is public relations and marketing. Yeah. It's called Cielo Consulting, you know, I'm based in South Orange, and so that is my day job, <laughs> and, um, and I enjoy that. But it's nice to be able to have these little side projects and, and, and for it to, to resonate with so many people. Yeah. yeah. So I know you teased this before, how you want this to spawn other types of content. Yeah. What are some of the things you have in the works? So I'm working on a TV pilot. Oh boy, so that's exciting. so cool. I know, like, see the, like, the gray hairs, all the things I'm doing, <laughs> like to add something else to my list. But, um, but it's, you know, I don't know a lot about the TV and film industry, but it's fascinating. And I have a group of, a great team. My co-creator for the pilot is um, Naomi Pandolfi. And she, so it, the, the pilot is inspired by the book. Um, and it's, uh, I can't say the name. No, <laughs> it's top secret. But uh, we have a producer right now, Guy Ford, who's helping to help us raise money to do a trailer and we're pitching it out. And so, um, so yeah, just, you know, another thing that we're trying to do, I think being able to take this, this story and this concept on a larger level. It's unbelievable and it's resonating yeah. so much more. And the conversation is getting 
not easier to have, but it's becoming right. more acceptable exactly. to have. Yeah, it definitely is. And, and I think it's because of so many movements that have happened lately, yeah. which is great, mm -hmm. you know, and there's still a lot to a lot to learn. And so it's a good time to, to have those conversations. And and another another reason for doing this was giving back. I, I have two charities that I give back to. One is Stop Child Predators, which is based in DC, and they do a lot of lobbying laws to protect children. And then the other one is New York Center for Children, which offers free services, um, free therapy services to children. So, um, so when you buy the book, part of that sale goes to those charities. That is awesome. Well, you are so awesome. Where can people find out more about you? Thank you for asking. So NubiaDuval.com. And then you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Encounters with Nubia on Instagram as well as on Facebook. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nubia. Thank you for having me. And for everything Garden State, visit us at HipNewJersey.com. For more on this segment, log on to HipNewJersey.com.